is our last try to get the ghost car to go through the fence. If we can't pull this off and debunk it, then I do not have a reasonable explanation on how this car got through the fence. Maybe the whole ghost car event was paranormal. Michael, ready? In three, two, one. I think this it. is a key piece of evidence right here. This could be our answer. So shocked. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. No. <laughs> yeah. Like we have a lot, a lot of notes to compare. So how was it? So we just got back from Georgia. Well, tell okay. us about so it. So what happened? What's up? So our third experiment was to try to get our car to go through the fence. Watch what happened. Michael, ready? In three, two, one. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Can you believe that? It opens like a theater wow. curtain. Oh my gosh. And goes down just in time to not even detect any movement from it. Here we go, side by side. His final turn, he turns left. Fence goes up. Wow. Goes down. Oh. There's a fence. Completely wow. intact, not even moving. By the time the officer turns around, Officer Daniel sees the fence just as it comes down and stops moving. We catch the tail lights at about the same point. Tell me that's not what happened. That's it. Is that there is... any question that that's you know, what, what happened that night? I don't think there's anything ghostly about that. Altogether, you would say there was nothing paranormal about this case. Finally an answer. Thanks to you guys. Ghost car, case closed.